give a 99.8% confidence interval for mu1 minus mu2 given the following information. And here we have sample size, x-bar, and standard deviation from each of our two samples. And it says we can use either option one or option two and round both solutions to two decimal places. Now in this case, we're going to give our answer in the following format. So we're going to give a mean. Right here, this will be the mean plus or minus the margin of error. And we're going to go to our calculator first. And we're going to do a confidence interval using the two sample T interval. So we'll go to tests and we will arrow down to two sample T interval right here, two sample T int. Okay? And we're going to put in our stats. Okay, and the x bar 1 was 2.76, 0 0.31 was our s sub 1, and n sub 1 was 55, x bar sub 2 is 2.68, S sub 2 is 0 0.73, and N sub 2 is 30. Our confidence level is 0.998. We're going to say no to pooled, and we will ask it to calculate our confidence interval for us. And what we're going to get is negative 0.39 when we round it and 0.55. So that's going to give us the confidence interval we're looking for, but we are asked to give our answer in a different format. So we need to find the mean and the margin of error given this confidence interval. So to do that, we're going to find the midpoint between 0.55 and point three, negative 0.39. To do that, we will subtract and divide by 2. You can do that on your calculator, or you can do it by hand. You'll get 0.94. You'll divide that by 2, and that will give you 0.47. So 0.47 is our midpoint on between those two values that we're given. That is going to be our margin of error. So 0.47 will be our margin of error. And then we either add that to the negative 0.39 or we subtract that from the 0.55. I'll switch colors so it's a little bit easier to see. 0.55 minus 0.47 is going to give us 0 0.08. And that will be our mean. Point zero, our estimate for our difference of means in this particular um, problem. So, our answer when we got it from the calculator, the confidence interval that we were given for mu1 minus mu2 is negative 0.39 to, neg to positive 0.55. Writing it in the format that we were asked to give our answer in, we get. 0.08 plus or minus 0.47.